Hello students, today in this video, we will start from the topic natural gas. So open your geography textbook, page number 188. Now what do you mean by natural gas? Natural gas is a fossil energy source and it is formed deep beneath the earth's surface and it contains many different compounds. And the largest com component of this gas is methane. Now underline the first line. Natural gas is a gas consisting primarily of methane. It is created in two primary ways. That is biogenic mechanism and thermogenic gas. Now these two points you have to underline A and B. Biogenic mechanisms create natural gas by methanogenic organisms. Now what do you mean by methanogenic organisms? Write down the definition. Organisms that help in the formation of methane. This natural gas is created in landfills and is often harvested to be used for fuel. Now what do you mean by landfills? Landfill is a site area for the disposal of waste material. So this natural gas is created in landfills and then it is used for fuel. Next, underline. Thermogenic gas is created inside the earth at great temperature and pressure conditions from buried organic material. And thermogenic gas is created inside the earth at great temperature and pressure conditions. Distribution of natural gas. The natural gas has become an important source of energy in India. The Gas Authority of India Limited, GAIL, G -A -I -L, is doing pioneer work in the field of natural gas exploration. Over three-fourths, 65% gas, underline, comes from Mumbai High. So 65% gas comes from Mumbai High and Mumbai High, you know, is an offshore oil field. The rest 35% is produced by Assam, Tamil Nadu, Tripura and Basin. Now advantages of natural gas. Natural gas has certain advantages over other fuels. Number one, natural gas is a renewable resource. So, it is a renewable resource. Second, it can be created in the landfills from degradable matter in trash. Hence, it is cheaper. So, it is created in the landfills. Landfill means area or site for the disposal of waste material. That is why it is cheap. Third, Natural gas can be efficiently and safely stored. Next, it is considered to be environment friendly due to its low emissions after burning, used as fuel at home. This gas is used as cooking gas at home, LPG, and as fuel for vehicles, CNG. You must have heard these two terms. LPG and CNG. LPG full form is liquefied petroleum gas or liquid petroleum gas. It is used as fuel in heating appliances, cooking e equipment etc. And CNG the full form is compressed natural gas. It is a fuel that can be used in place of gasoline diesel fuel and liquefied petroleum gas. Next, liquefied natural gas, L, 
LNG is much cheaper. Now LNG, liquefied natural gas. This gas is odorless, colorless, non-toxic and non-corrosive. So these are the features of LNG. Now disadvantages. Like other fossil fuels, natural gas still does create greenhouse gas emissions. Now greenhouse gases you know are water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, ozone, chlorofluorocarbons etc. So like other fossil fuels, natural gas still create greenhouse gas emissions. It cannot be used at large scale. Third disadvantage, natural gas is highly volatile. Volatile means evaporated. It can evaporate and can be dangerous if handled or transported carelessly. And last disadvantage is true Underline natural gas is colorless, odorless and tasteless which makes its leak detection difficult. Now the spelling of odorless is wrong. So just correct that spelling. Correct spelling is O-B-O-U-R-L-E-S-S. So true natural gas is colorless, odorless and tasteless. That is why it is Difficult to find out whether it is leaking or not. Problems of natural gas. Flaring of gas is a common problem. Flaring means burn with sudden intensity. So this is a common problem. It takes place due to lack of required compression and transport facilities. And second, lack of technical help for operational safety. So now I wind up for today. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. God bless you all.